procurement uh, uh, deregulation. And I think that uh, it has served as a cold shower. I mean, enormous amount of uh, support, uh, both domestically and abroad, uh, uh, for this move. Uh, and I'm very happy that uh, this has created uh, uh, such a uh, big uh, resonance. Uh, because uh, I, I, I still think that uh, Ukraine has a very bright future. Quickly bring in uh, foreign advisors uh, to basically a productive uh, general prosecutor. It's a uh, draft list of uh, things to do uh, was, was, was discussed. Basically, very strong demands on the government itself, very strong demands on the parliament, and very strong demands. You know, on, on, on the president's office and so on, and many, th you know, different things were floated around. Everyone agreed that you know it's it's a, it's a great opportunity. Now that the cold shower was 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 basically given, to really demand some things from the from the top political elite in order to accelerate uh, the reform. Uh, we just need to uh, encourage those people in power. You know, I wasn't there myself, but I uh, suspect. Uh, and I um, proposed that perhaps, perhaps, you know, the shortest uh, road uh, to success in our country is a completely technocratic government, completely dominated by people that have not been in government before Maidan. And here, perhaps, the idea that I proposed uh, was that, uh, you know, Prime Minister would support a new Prime Minister, which would be uh, Natalie Yeresko, mm -hmm. uh, Finance uh, Minister, who would get a complete carte blanche on selecting ministers simply you know, by her own uh, choice, not based on some political quotas, not based on some kind of financial interest. It would be very, very, very sad if this whole publicized situation is just shoved under the carpet and we move on, you know, next week as nothing has happened. I mean, this, this would be disastrous. So it is very important to reflect on what has happened because what I said, you know, it's, it's what has been on everybody's mind for a long period of time. I just sped it out, so to say, because it was just too much. So it is very important to, 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 to basically take, you know, good lessons out of it, you know, have an agreement that things like that shall not be tolerated, fix the system with some deep, deep, deep fixes, not some kind of just miscellaneous ones, and see whether this is a workable solution, you know, and that, you know, let's, let's push the country basically to another level in terms of progress, in terms of uh, reforms, in terms of transparency. В нашей стране все построено на том, чтобы все державные установы, они хотят ну, как бы больше денег. Я думаю, что ну, как изменить, это наказывать за коррупцию в первую очередь. Ну, раз человек сделал такое заявление, он уже отвечает за свое слово. Значит, явно там что-то есть. Пусть он разбирается, есть же органы, которые этим должны заниматься. Разберутся, вот тогда мы что-то узнаем. А пока мы в неведении, они скубутся.